um, overall evaluation, I think um, our kids have done a phenomenal job through the summer. I think that's the first thing. From where we left spring to where we are now, there's a big noticeable difference. So I just, you know, uh, kudos to those guys for how they've prepared this summer because we're in a way better place than we were when we exited the spring. So they've done a lot of really good work. Um, really proud of our offensive line. Um, you know, Coach Allen, you know, they, they do a great job on defense. Um, you know, making things difficult on us. And um, I think our old line's done a really nice job um, in a run game and a pass protection standpoint. Um, we've taken care of the ball relatively well, um, which is obviously the most important thing you do. You know, you know, turnovers and explosive plays are going to make the difference in who wins and loses the game. So obviously there's ball security every day. That's a huge part of what we do. And so um, we've taken care of the ball pretty well. And then other than that, I just um, – I think our kids – you know, from a just a mentality standpoint, I think they're just really, really, really hungry to learn. They're hungry to improve. Um, they're hungry to be better than we were a year ago, you know, almost to the point of you know, they're starving, you know. And so just really enjoy the mentality of this group right now. They're, they're a joy and a blessing to work with every day. Well, how much hitting will there be now that the fans are on and uh, – how much you get after it? Oh, I mean, we've had, uh, I believe, two days in shoulder pads. Uh, we've had two days in shoulder pads, um, one day in full pads. Um, it's been really physical. We've had some really, you know, really physical inside segments. We had short yardage goal line yesterday. Um, I mean, so we, we have been really physical. Good perimeter periods, you know, between the wide outs and perimeter players and the DBs, what we call little inside drill. Um, so, no, it, it's been plenty physical, um, you know. Blocking and tackling, those things never change. If you can block and tackle well, you've got a chance to win football games. You know, you know, from blocking, tackling, and great eye discipline, you know, every team, if you can do those three things really well, you got a chance. So um, Coach Allen's done a great job putting a camp together where we're able to do those things in a physical way, but also keep our guys healthy. Justin, then we'll go to Zoom with Matt uh, just and obviously you're the quarterbacks basically what stood out to you about the Connor and Jackson what were you like buddy each other those kind of big plays far as Yeah, I mean just just overall system knowledge. You know, we're so much further along, you know, you, as, as elementary as this sounds, you know, you kind of talk about the ABCs of certain concepts, and then eventually, you know, through repetition, you start to learn some DEFs. Um, to be able to start with the DEFs as we're on our way to the XYZs um, is a nice thing. Um, but they, they've both done a really nice job. They're both handling this competition incredibly well. They both help each other. They're always good teammates because they're both good human beings on top of being really good football players. Um, the other guy that's done an incredible job is Dexter Williams. Dexter Williams is going to be a really good player someday. I, I'm really impressed with the improvement that Dexter Williams has made between spring and now. Um, so excited about him. But, but all three of those kids, again, great teammates, good people. They're doing everything they possibly can to go win and compete for the job. All right, Matt Weaver and then Tyler. Doing everything they possibly can to go win and compete for the job. Hey, Coach, how you doing? I'm great, brother. Yourself? I'm Okay. I want to ask you about the tight ends. Obviously, you guys got a guy back in AJ Brown, right, right, so. who's, who's got some experience. Um, just curious about you know how he's coming along, and then the guys behind him. I know it's a young group. I mean, what are you, what are you seeing from that position group? Um, you know, AJ's a really good player. Um, another guy who's improved, you know, just in terms of overall system knowledge between the spring um, and now. Uh, James Bomba has done a great job stepping up, kind of becoming a more physical inline grinder who's also got really soft hands. Um, you know, Steiny's done a really nice job. Um, Brody Foley is a young tight end, you know, that's going to be a really good player. And we did, he was an early enrollee that wasn't healthy in the spring. And so now he's back. Um, you know, Dogstrip's done a nice job. Barnsley's done a nice job. I mean, we, we've got some good serviceable depth. And then the, and then the one guy – that has really grown and has really started to improve is Trey Walker, you know, who is a walk on here. That's a big, long guy. He gives us some value at the point of attack, runs better than a lot of people think he does and has caught the ball really well up to this point in this camp. So, you know, really excited about the position group, even though it's a young group, um, you know, I mean, everybody in there is young, you know, but Coach Rice doing a great job with those guys. And so we're excited about, you know, the fact that not only they're going to add production and value to the offense, but they all have a little bit of a different skill set. You know, we've got a really diversified position. So excited about that group. Tyler, you right? Hey, 
Coach. Uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, I wanted to ask about Jalen Lucas. Um, when you first met him, what, what just stood out to you about him and how have you kind of seen him develop over the past few months? Uh, all right, first thing about Jalen. Um, I would say when you first meet him, wonderful personality, wonderful child. Um, you know, I mean, he's a really young kid. He's, se he's still 17 years old. He doesn't turn 18 until September. So um, he'll play his first college snaps as a 17-year-old. Um, but just a wonderful kid. Um, just how he prepares, you know, kind of really far along in a maturity standpoint, just in his approach to the game. Um, now, on the football field, incredibly explosive. Um, he's a guy that, that can go win in a five-by-five five yard box. You know, the first guy isn't going to get him on the ground very much. Um, you know, and he's had some, some really good explosive plays um, in the first five or six days. I believe we've had six days of fall camp. And he's a guy that, that we, you know, we're, we're going to do what we can as he learns to, you know, pass protection. And as he learns to truly be a running back, he's a guy that also, you know, that we can sprinkle around to take advantage of his skill sets because he's a great route runner, a great catcher. I mean, he, he's a guy that, that can truly be a real hybrid and, and do lots of things for us. Great. Yeah, Walt, um, what have you seen? What does Donovan McCauley look like as a wide receiver? Um. For Indiana fans, probably really similar to what he looked like last year. He's really tall. He's really long. He's really explosive. He's a great athlete. Um, you know, he's been catching the ball from the center. Um, so now you just, you know, slide the center 30, you know, 20, 30 yards away, and you now he's catching it from a quarterback. But uh, he's got a chance to be a really good player. You know, now, first time truly playing the position, still he kind of – still very early in the process of, of learning the craftsmanship of the position, you know, the ability to kind of play – above and outside of the X and O's um, and some of the nuance to the position. He's still learning that. But in the future, I feel like he's going to be a, a really, really special player for Indiana. Stan, coming back to quarterback, I don't, I don't mean it that way. I guess I'm trying to put a question out for him. I took it from me. Um, is, is he a receiver? Is that what he is or is he a receiver? No, he's a receiver. Um, but don't be surprised if you ever saw him back there. I mean, you don't, don't – he uh, – how about that? He's a football player, you know, and, and wherever we need him to play, he can play. Mike, thank you. Yeah, Coach, I wanted to continue on the, the wide receivers. Um, you know, it seems like a wide open competition there, out, especially on the outside. Uh, it seems like a lot of guys could end up seeing, seeing the field. What are you focused on with that group? What's going to kind of win the day for guys to – to start or see the field at wide receiver out on the edge. You know, I mean, just first in terms of winning a job, and this goes for every player, you know, kind of within the program is, you know, you got to add value to your position group. You got to add value to, to your unit, you know, in terms of your side of the ball, you know, and you got to add value to the team, you know. And so we've got a bunch of guys right now competing to prove – you know, that, that they're the best guy to do that for us. So we've got a good, healthy, open competition. Um, you know, our outside wideouts have, have, you know, and again, I think a lot of it has to do with the work they put in this summer, you know, and, and Coach Henry through the summer and, and through camp right now. But we got a bunch of outside wideouts competing. There's a lot of improvement. You know, we're, we're in a much better place than we were when spring started and an even better place than when spring finished. So that means that – there's been continual improvement, which is the ultimate goal. Um, but we've got a bunch of outside guys competing for reps. Um, Cam Camper, Javon Swinton, um, Donovan McCulley, uh, Anderson Kobe, you know, who's a new addition for us. You know, Emory Simmons has the ability to play inside and outside. Um, you know, a young Omar Cooper who's going to be a really good football player for Indiana at some point in his career. Um, I mean, we've got we, we've got a good, healthy competition going out there. And so I'm um, just excited. And, you know, it takes a lot of guys. You know, I, I don't know if I've ever been anywhere where, you know, your two outside guys played, you know, every snap all year long. It's, it's it, it takes a lot of guys. And so um, we've got just got to continue to develop and uh, make sure that we just identify the guys that we know we can count on in a game, knowing that, you know, everybody's going to have to play. Who's a guy that you could possibly see read or kind of show out in that area? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
you know, all right, let just physical dimensions and abilities first. You know, Donovan's a big guy. He's going to be a guy that can climb the ladder, um, you know, win in the back half of the end zone, fade balls, um, you know, from a, you know, Typically in those areas of the field, you know, you're seeing more man coverages, you know, you're seeing more brackets. So whoever's at number three, um, you know, is going to be in relation to a Mike Backer or, or a bigger safety, you know, so that that's where a guy like A.J. Barner comes in. You know, the tight end typically down there has got to be able to win the middle of the field, um, you know, and so A.J., Donovan McCulley, um, you know, DJ Matthews is a guy that, that's always going to be able to win, you know, on, on options and choices and, and, and quick game type stuff. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is down there, you've got to establish the ability to run the football so that, that, that play pass is successful. So, um, but, you know, anytime you've got a, a, a wide out that can win a one on one, anytime that you've got a tight end that can go truly win his matchup in the middle of the field, you know, and then you got to play to the skills of, of the other people, you know in the offense. But I, I think, again, I think one of the most underrated things is you got to be able to run the ball, ball vertically in that area of the field, you know, because you got to be able to run the ball vertically because obviously safeties don't have very far to go to run the ball east and west. You're going to struggle. So you got to be able to run the ball vertically and you got to be able to throw the score, you know. And uh, But I feel like we've got good pieces in place to do it, you know, and that's becoming the game. You know, if you can finish 65, 68, or 70 percent in terms of a touchdown rate on the year, you're going to win a lot of football games. You know, that 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 – is a huge point of emphasis, and we started really early here in terms of emphasizing the red zone, the score zone, and goal line. Coach, obviously in a lot of new faces, whether it's on the player side or the personnel side, and a lot of unknowns from out for those of us outside, offensively especially. What is the true goal of that? Is that is getting to the first game uh, with as little on film or known as possible? Um, and has that, how much easier has it made it for you to, to accomplish that? Yeah, well, I mean, the ultimate goal of what we're doing right now is to win the first football game, you know? And so as little as we can possibly let Illinois know is probably a good thing for us. You know, and ultimately we got to protect the organization and make sure that we're putting our, our team in the best position to win the game possible. So um, we're, we're going to be really quiet. You know, we're just going to work on us. And, uh, you know, as always, we're going to go out there on the first play against Illinois. There will be 11 people. There will be somebody catching the snap. And we're going to go play. But uh, I think it's allowed our group to build a really good camaraderie to know that, that you know, we're just worried about us right now. You know, we don't have to worry about any outside things or we don't have to worry about anything else other than just us, you know, and that's Coach Allen's plan. Um, and, and that's what he wants for our organization. And so we're, we're going to keep this thing really close to the vest and get ready to go play our best football Friday night.